All right, welcome guys. This time we're gonna go to gate six commentary run. I might not be able to make all the comments on every gimmick because if you guys saw my gate six guide, gate six is complicated. There's a lot of things going on and it's definitely the hardest among all six gate. So um, for those who want more in info that you cannot find from this VOD, uh, go check out the gate six bro Charizard guide. Yeah, that will help you a lot. Okay, so battle items, you take it I either Whirlwind or Dark Grenade like this. I'm taking the Whirlwind. Yeah. And the Swift Rope or Marching Flag. Time Stop and Potion. Okay. Uh, so the goal is you have to take her down all the way to 220. Because, I mean 210. Because that's when the major gimmick happens. Yeah. 210 or like 220-ish. Okay. Okay, she's 225. Okay, that one, uh, the, pl the player have to dodge that line and the window break as well. Nice. Okay, now he, now, she, now she's gonna do this one is Medusa. Yeah, that one was Medusa. Now she's gonna go to the center. The very first major gimmick happens here: hallucination space. Go to the back part right here, the the middle line of the back part here. Yeah, and you will get a debuff. This debuff reverses your pointer. So when you click on somewhere, then you will move to other place, opposite place. And you can see a shape is shown here. The shape is circle for me. Eight different shapes will be shown from players. So I'm circle. Go to the safety zone, five o'clock. Memorize. Circle, five. The debuff disappears. Circle, five, zero. Center is zero. Circle, five, zero. And 11 o'clock, the, the debuff happens again. Yeah, so circle... 5011 is what I just, you know, uh, shout out to the people. And you can see other people are shouting out as well. Then she will reveal her shape. The shape is hourglass. See, you guys can see it. Hourglass. So the person who got hourglass shows his safety zone. He says 107. So one o'clock here. Boom. Zero is center. Zero. And seven. What does this imply, guys? If even one person dies here and she shows that person's shape, that's gonna be a raid wipe, guys. Yeah, so stay focused, guys. Stay focused and you have to do this gimmick. You, everyone can memorize, everyone has, uh, can be good at game, guys. Yeah, just, you know, just focus, guys. Focus. All right. So normally uh, the, the, the raid leader uses a Xena there. And the second gimmick happens. This is the meteor pattern. Yeah, everyone go to 12 o'clock. And she's gonna shoot the eight meteors, one yellow and seven blue. It's gonna strike in sequence. Yellow first. Uh, I mean, it's gonna assign for, assign in a sequence, yellow and then blues. But yellow will eventually strike at the latest. The yellow um, strikes three HP from the tile. Blue one. Each of the tiles have. I got. Uh, I got second one by the way. Second one stays here. Uh, and there's some uh, positions that you have to make on uh, depending on the 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 order of of you. Um, each tiles have three HP except for the center one. Center has fourteen, and you have to you have to memorize you have to memorize the when the yellow meter strikes three field the berserk time seventeen oh seven yeah just like that okay now you have to DPS her all the way to 140, 140. because on hundred thirty thirty seven what she does is that the next second yellow meteor the yellow meteor comes out uh, four times in the total by the way the second meteor comes out and the thing is. If you, if you destroy more than three tiles, uh, currently the upper three tiles are broken, right? But if you destroy more than three, like four, then that's a raid wipe. She immediately wipes the raid. But what did I say? On the 137 HP bar, the second yellow meteor happens again. So if you do not check the time, and if you, like, you know, accidentally, accidentally um, DPS her down all the way to 137, even before the tiles got regenerated, by the way, the tiles get regenerated after 1 minute and 40 seconds. Yeah, so 100 seconds, yeah. Then that's a raid wipe. Because you need to wait for this gen, this these tiles to, re to regenerate. And then you can safely put the yellow uh, meteor on the, on the bottom side. Yeah, okay, this one is Scythe. All right. 1527, we have to wait until this... Uh, this you know berserk time becomes 1527 guys because that's that was the generation time that we uh, just measured yeah 
All right. All right, it's 50 30-ish. So we go now. Yeah, we go. It's okay to go. Watch the tile. See? The tiles got regenerated on the on that perfect timing. So now uh since her HP is under 137, uh she's going to uh reveal she's going to reveal what's that called? She's going to reveal the yellow meteor and we have to put yellow meteor here down here it's okay to you know destroy this tile here because it doesn't matter the yellow meteor will uh will break only three tiles on the bottom anyways if he does that so even though the tile is broken there it doesn't matter wait why did he go there okay someone accidentally someone accidentally went to the tile where it's gonna break guys this part and he died she died if you stay on the tile where the yellow meteor is falling you die guys because that tile is gonna vanish guys so this one is yellow telegraph pattern and it's gonna knock you all all the way all the way guys if you get hit by it so it's important not to get hit by it and we have to dps cut once again until 1347 yeah one minute from the yellow meteor on the six o'clock strike because on 113 there's a there's a, a gimmick, another gimmick called Gigantic Mommy. And like, I don't, I don't know how to say, like name the gimmick, but she becomes gigantic. That's why I, you know, just, you know, made it as a gi giant mommy as a pattern name, gimmick name. But anyways, so Blue Meteor, uh, every one minute, the Blue Meteor will be assigned like this. They are putting it on the top side. Good, good split. Now, 13, 37, 47, sorry. Yeah, it's, it's passed. It already passed. Now we're good to go. We're good to do the DPS. All right, let's DPS. Let's DPS her hard. Okay, uh, I got expelled. Yeah, I got expelled. If you get expelled like this, then Shandy comes in and she he's gonna free you like this. Yeah, and you become um um what's that called? Invincible for several seconds. Yeah. Okay. So since it's already under 113 HP bar, she's gonna go to the center and do the giant mommy gimmick. Yeah, there's gonna be a cutscene where she becomes gi giant. Watch, and you can see on the on the bottom side the 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 tiles regenerated as well. So that was a perfect timing. Yeah. So you can see the tiles are all regenerated. See, and the, the mommy becomes a giant. Okay, you have to dodge the line two times. Watch. One. If you get hit by it, uh, like you almost die. Two. All right, and you have to go to times three and times three plus one direction, guys. Yeah, I'm party two and number two. That means I have to go to times three plus one. That is seven o'clock. The radiator uses Shandy here to slow down the the yellow and the red orbs that's gonna come out. So this is where I am. Uh, the black orb, guys. Black orb is on the nine o'clock. You can see like that, right? But it's not on where I am positioned, like seven o'clock. So in this case, you have to eat two yellow orbs. If you have a black orb then you take at least one orb and go inside yeah see just like that see just like that guy when it vibrates for others you get dragged into the place called inner side it's a yellow field like this yeah for people on the outer side they will see the clones and they will ping like this see two places ping nine o'clock and three o'clock yeah you we have to stagger or or counter okay that's stagger and when you succeed the stagger and counter then you can eat the orb you can take the orbs from the clone this orb gives me shield like this and it um prevents you from the wipe attack that happens when you start to gather to the people on the outer side yeah after this gimmick ends the people on the inner side where i am like we, we gather guys we gather like uh back to the outer side where the boss is and if you don't have this this shield then that that people will die okay take it okay good took it and i hope the, uh, the other two people on this side, on 11 o'clock, where it was pink, also got all, I hope. So, if po four people all got the shield like this by successfully doing the gimmick, then no one dies like this. Uh, Sorcerer's already died before that. Yeah, already died before that. Now, we DPS her to 87. 87 HP bar, because on 87 HP bar, there is the third yellow meteor. The third yellow meteor and the third yellow meteor have to put it on us on a 12 o'clock so let's go chat let's go let's stay stand by in the 12 o'clock because if you get if, if the meteor gets assigned but you're close to the bottom part then that's that's not gonna be good right yeah all right uh he sh she should do the she should assign the yellow meteor but i don't know why 
not. Okay, she did. Okay, this guy got uh, assigned and see, you can see that she is running into the 12 o'clock verdicts. Yeah, so that that's gonna that's gonna crash the three tiles on the top part. Boom, like that. And we have to, and we have to, um, memorize the time again. Yeah, again. Every time the yellow meteor happens. Yeah, to stop the DPS because there's one more yellow meteor, the fourth yellow meteor. In okay, this one you have to save it. So chat, you can see that. Um, on the above the mana bar, there is um, a debuff, a debuff, and you have to keep this. If you get hit by the uh, the twister, then it will disappear. Uh, by keeping this, uh, by keeping this buff, what happens is that you go drag, you get dragged into some place like this, and you have to kill this object because if not, there's gonna be a black hole generated in the center, and that's gonna hinder people on placing the meteors. Yeah, spam loaded. Yeah, okay. The time was um, 8.36. Okay, there's one line. Dodge it like this. Aggro it. Good. Yeah. So we have to stop the DPS until it, the timer, Berserk time reaches 8.36. And when is the fourth meter coming out? 37 HP bars. 37. So we have to cut it like somewhere like 40 HP bar. Okay, let's cut it now. Yeah, see? Th there's a danger ping coming. We're cutting the DP. We have to cut the DPS until it reaches 8 minutes and 30 six second because that's when the upper tile is uh gets re get regenerated yeah and uh we drop our dp uh hp down to 37 and we get the the yellow meteor and we put it on the on the bottom side yeah how many of you guys are understanding this so far by after watching my gate six guide and how many of, of you guys are still understanding it even if you didn't watch it yeah yeah show me the uh, gift these guys i mean show me the the emote for the uh, YouTube enjoyers. Okay, so now we're DPSing her, and she got someone got the yellow meteor. She's going all the way down. S is is the top side regenerated? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. So if it wasn't regenerated, then that's a raid wipe because having more than three tile, you know, destro destroyed is a raid wipe. Yeah, it's a raid wipe. That's the core gimmick, guys. That's the core gimmick of this. From now on, you don't have to check the. From now on, you don't have to check the time because there's no more yellow meteors after this. Uh, there's four meteors in total, and you don't have to. So that this is the last gimmick. Around 25 HP bar, another hallucination space pattern happens, and the radiator normally uses Inanna here to remove the pointer reverse debuff. It can re remove it. What is my what is my uh shape? Octagon, octagon, and you have to keep close your eyes. Yeah, closely watch. 11 o'clock, octagon, 11 zero and this under tile is crashed that's why th it, it's making this harder okay that was easy so i say octagon eleven zero one because that was my direction zero means center and you guys have to notice that uh wait a second so stick close to her front then you can see her shape it is triangle see you can see the triangle so reveal that re so let other people know that it's triangle and the person who got triangle says it's three zero nine is the safety spot so we start from three Three zero is center, and then nine here. So you can see that since three tiles on the bottom side is destroyed, doing this hallucination of space pattern, guys, gimmick, uh, with with this these tiles broken is not easy. It's not. That's why p normally the raid leader uses the inanna, uh, because having having a uh pointer reverse and also uh having. Having three tiles broken on the bottom side makes the raid harder. That's why the blue meters keep gets assigned, guys. There's no yellow meters, but the blue meter keep gets assigned. You just have to put it on anywhere. Yeah, because um, from now on, even though you put it on anywhere else, it doesn't raid wipe you, even though you break more than three. Stay noted and spam Giga Chat. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. All the uh, all the six commentary events, and I hope it helps you guys a lot. I know that it's gonna be like dent g it's gonna be like you know like you know a uh, way too dank for you guys for especially for those who didn't watch it but watch my guide if you didn't watch my guide you will understand and watch the commentary run as well stay giga chat and spam loaded